It came a bit earlier than expected. Usually it doesn't arrive till the 16th, and today is the 10th. So unless this is like somehow from last year, <laughs> last year started last month. I don't know. Did this actually say like the date it was shipped? <clears throat> oh wait, date of mailing, the 4th of March. Never mind. Why did they mail us on the 4th? Is this also what I'm thinking? No, because it's video monthly. Weird. My video game monthly came early. This has just been a weird package because A, it came early, which is like a big thing. Like, just A, but you know, A, came early this month. Um, came actually on the 10th. Usually they ship them out on the 10th. So there's that. And also, for some reason, when it came in the mail, there was a little confusion as to who it belonged to. Because they used my online username. They used PC Gold, not my name. So this has just been one heck of a package. Which means it's going to be full of rarities and questionable things. That sounds really bad, but... Nah, you know... You already know what it is. Last month it didn't work. Something happened. I know I didn't make one last month either. Something happened. So February, February was a crappy month. Video game monthly, baby. Um, basically what I say didn't happen is PayPal did updated their kind of like terms of service and I didn't really accept it right away. So basically what happened was... Um, so basically what happened... I'm just double checking. Them. Basically I didn't accept it in time and then things went wrong and nothing went through. That sort of thing. Okay. So I just had to double check the monitor. Had to double check how to monitor it. Because my mic likes to crap out on me sometimes. But anyways. It shall. Play the past into the future. What do you get? Modern game. I don't know if you get like very, very modern game. But you tell me what's in there. Anything good? Anything good? Yeah? Cool. Love it. Alright, first we're gonna start off with a card. We got 11 games this month! I still have my... <clears throat> I, for some reason, need to... I need to learn to throw these out. I still have the 1-Up cards here. For some reason, but whatever. Alright, we got the We Hope You Enjoy Your Thing. Normal. Alright, first item in the list. Stare at you. What is... Oh, snap it! What's oh, a Mario theme done. Oh, wait, is this all gonna be Mario theme stuff? Probably. Let's go. Snap bracelet. I like it. It's probably going to be a very big Mario themed thing. First up. Hot Shots Tennis. Get a grip for the PSP. That goes to my buddy. <laughs> I don't own a PSP. So I just have it there so my buddy gets PSP games. We also got Wipeout Pure for the PSP as well. These are really neat though. I might get these as well. I might. I'm. <sighs> I want to see if I can get, like, a PSP emulator for, like, my DS. That sounds really dumb, but, like, I modified my DS. And I'm also toying with the idea of getting an emulator to play, like, my DS games and 3DS games on my PC, but only use the DS and 3DS games that I personally own. So, like, nothing else gets used. Next up in the list in my hand, we have S3KX Superbike World Championship. These are all still sealed, by the way. Like, these aren't even open. That's sweet. It's got a bike racing game. Next up, we got... Oh, no way. Tomb Raider 3, The Adventure of Laura Croft for the PS1. Oh, dang, buddy. Dang. All right, I gotta... I'm gonna, I'm gonna just double-check some here. Um, <clears throat> this sounds dumb, but... I'm gonna look up Tomb Raider... Tomb Raider 3... Oh, it goes for $14. I mean, it only goes for, like, 14 bucks, But still, Tomb Raider... Let's go. Old school Zoom Raider. Next up. <laughs> Winnie the Pooh Kindergarten for the PS1. Let's go. Let's go. Bring it back to childhood favorite. It's a PS1 themed one, I guess. Cause we got more PS1 games. We got... Oh, hello. Very hard to read these, but... Spyro the Year of the Dragon. That's a good one. Yeah, yes, you can see in my in, in the view thing. I have the Farming Simulator 22 mod page open. I was looking at mods when this package came in. And wakeboarding, okay. Bus trick wakeboarding for the PS1 by Natsume. Hey, the creators of uh, whatever the company's called <laughs> Harvest Moon. That's the game series. And then to end it off, ladies and gentlemen, bubble wrap.
some ASMR action for you. No, to end it off, we have four GBA games. So we got some more GBA games here for the Video Game Monthly. The Video Game Monthly subscription service. I think I already know what game has won it, and it's definitely Lorecroft. Like, 100%. Already off the bat, Lorecroft out here winning it. But first off, we got Battleship Risk and Clue for the Game Boy Advance. There's some board games. Really, really nice. Really nice. Matt Hoffman's Pro BMX. Camera. Can you focus there a little bit? No? Okay. Don't want to focus. That's fair. Uh, Kerplunk, Tap It, and Toss Across. Some, like, little arcade things. Ooh! And then we got Shrek Super Slam. <laughs> Shrek Super Slam. Beautiful. I love it. You got, you got, you gotta love, you gotta love Shrek Super Slam. But honestly, like, it's pretty good, pretty good uh, pickings here. But I think the winners are definitely Tomb Raider and Shrek are definitely the winners for this month, uh, video game monthly. But yes, another day, another month, another awesome, phenomenal things of games. Also, two of them to give to my buddy because he owns a PSP. That's the only reason why I get PSP games is because my buddy owns one, and he never really knows what to get. So I just, I get him, I give him these games. It's fair enough, like, in my opinion, I think. You know, he gets himself some more video games for his PSP, and I don't, because I don't have one. I've toyed with the idea of getting one, but I am still, like, on the fence. I mean, they're all good to buy one now, actually. They probably go for pretty cheap. So I might, I might keep these, actually, and then get a PSP myself. Just see how much they have. Maybe check Amazon. I wonder how much, wonder how much they would be on Amazon. But anyways, that does it for this month. Join me next month, ladies and gentlemen. Join me next month when we try to... I don't know. I don't know what I'm... I have no idea what the heck I'm saying right now. For one of My brain's kind of fried. Anyways, that's Video Game Monthly. They're an amazing subscription service, guys. If you want to play all of your past games into the future, they're really, really good for that. Um, they gave me this, actually, probably because it's Mario Day. That's why they gave me the Mario Snap Bracelet. But you get some really cool stuff from them, and you get some amazing, amazing gifts. Um, you do not get any duplicates, and you get it for systems you request. Like, you actually have to keep up to date, keep up track, update everything, so they know not to send you any duplicates for games and things like that, which just makes it so much better, so much worth it, because they actually take care and care for your, for your people, care for the people, care for the subscription people, and that's what makes them awesome. That's what makes Video Game Monthly just such a cool service. I freaking love them. And, yeah, but anyways, thank you so much for watching today's video. My name is Golden. You are awesome. You are amazing. Love you all. See you all next time. Peace.